Hello there, I am the Chairman of the Trustees of the Gordon Russell Museum and my name is Richard Pace and I have the pleasure of introducing you to this very distinguished furniture maker from the 1920s through to 1980 and the piece of furniture that made his name was this amazing cabinet that was pure arts and crafts from the 1920s and won the design award, a gold award in Paris in 1925. It is absolutely superb. But what was special about him was that he gave credit to the furniture cabinet makers and metal makers, not just to himself. He was a designer, but he passed all the responsibility to his making team. And this is the most amazing piece. This little museum is full of his craftsmanship. And during the Second World War, this furniture factory was turned over to making aeroplane wings for the British forces. And Gordon Russell himself designed furniture for those who had their homes destroyed by bombs or were recently married. And here he, he used whatever materials were available and standardized in a very simple, modest, but quality finish for the people of that time. Back in 1929, the American stock market crashed. Gordon Russell was concerned about his future. And by good fortune, a Mr. Murphy came to ask if they could make a cabinet here. The brother of Gordon, Dick Russell, produced these cabinets. Not only were they a success, they went on to build a factory in London that was producing 200,000 cabinets a year. And this helped Gordon Russell survive the downturn of the 30s. The last great uh, episode in Gordon's life was that he was director of the first design council in the Haymarket in London. And he became an ambassador that went off around the world promoting design in every direction. The purpose of this museum is to inspire youngsters in the creativity of the past, the dream of this man, Gordon Russell, what he achieved and what should be happening for the future. This is our heritage, but we must look to the future. He did, and we need to as well. Well, I did rather put Richard on the spot um, in giving this impromptu message to an audience that's probably not familiar with the name Gordon Russell. Now I'd like to briefly add to this. A key feature of Gordon Russell's vision and achievement was in his readiness to embrace hand skill with the machine, perhaps more so than the arts and crafts movement. Uh, William Morris uh, was not actually against the machine itself, but more the way it dominated and dehumanised furniture production at the time. I think Gordon Russell's vision uh, is particularly important today because he led the way towards more accessible contemporary furniture design, uh, embracing the machine rather than apologising for it, and maintaining that vital uh, balance between hand skill, uh, engagement with a material, uh, and also the use of mechanisation. And that's a reality today uh, in the advent of CNC machining, uh, which reduces the drudgery, but it also can include or can enhance uh, the creativity. We're living in an interesting era um, of uh, the intelligent machine. I think what is absolutely vital is to have a sense of history, and Gordon Russell is very much part of that. Mm -hmm.